Hello, my name is Vladislav. I am an adjuster of the VTM Group company and today we will conduct a training video on the BV0388 machine. So, the first thing to do. To begin with, when the machine arrives to you, it will need to be installed correctly. To begin with, the bed is installed on the base. The frame is fixed to the base using holes for anchor bolts. Also, intermediate washers or plates will need to be installed under these pads to reduce this gap. It is advisable to use all mounting holes. It is absolutely necessary to use anchor bolts with a metal collet. Plastic dowels are not allowed. After the frame is attached to the base, the tightness of the bolts of the first support is checked. The presence of correct operation of the clamps on the first support is checked. After that you can install the cardan shaft on the machine and proceed to connecting the electrical part. From this side we observe two connectors, they are marked. The connection of the machine is carried out by this cable motor, this cable lock. 380 volts and also a grounding bolt are suitable from below. There is a similar grounding bolt on the frame. Please note that the machine must be grounded. Both the electrical cabinet and the bed and all the sleeve metals. After that, the connectors of the first vibration sensor, the second, third, fourth and the cord of the speed sensor are connected. The power connection of the machine is connected on the left side of the electrical cabinet. The power is connected to this box, three phases, and ground. Also, when using a five-wire circuit, this jumper needs to be removed. There is also an electrical circuit on the door of the electrical cabinet, you can contact it if necessary. A brief overview of the machine supports. So, this is a leading spindle support with a cam-type adapter installed on it. Next comes the protective bracket, the second intermediate support for fixing the intermediate suspension bearing. The third support is also intermediate for fixing the bearing. Another protective bracket and the fourth support is driven. It also has an adapter and an adapter ring installed on it. Handle for fixing the spindle. The machine is switched on by this switch, the voltage lamp lights up, and after a few seconds the drive is ready. After that, we can turn on the computer. Computer. To set up the machine on the cardan, you need to enter the mode and select the calculation. In this field, enter the balancing tolerance in grams per millimeter. What tolerance to drive about this will be described in the instructions. Next, we enter the radius of the cardan pipe in this way. and click the calculation button to display the tolerance value in grams. Click the accept button. Next, on the upper one we display the balancing tolerance in grams, in the middle field we display the control load, which is 10 unit permissible masses, and on the lower field it is the load that we will put on the gimbal. In this case, we will put 19.8 grams. Press the accept button, then select start without trial load and press start rotation. We wait until the light bulb lights up the purity is reached and press the start measurement button. We are waiting for the stop button to be active. After that, we look at the stability of the display of angles and magnitudes. After everything is stable, we press stop measurement and stop rotation. Next, select the start with the control load on the first plane. We install this weight and set the rotating gimbal, the angle is 0 degrees. Next, we install our control weight vertically on top of the first plane and fix it with adhesive tape.
Next, click the start of rotation. And start the measurement. Stop measurement, stop rotation. Select the launch with the load on the second plane. We remove the weight from the first plane, turn the angle to zero degrees. We install the weight on the second plane vertically from above. Fixed. Press the start rotation button, wait until the rotation speed is reached and the measurement starts. Then stop measuring and stop rotating. Start with plane number 3. We remove the weight from the second plane. The weight was removed, the rotor was brought under the zero angle. The angle is displayed on the monitor. And we install the load vertically on the plane number 3 from above. Press start rotation and start measurement. Then stop the measurement and stop the rotation. We remove the weight from the third plane. We remove the weight, turn the gimbal to the zero angle and set the weight on the fourth plane, again vertically from above. Press the start rotation button and after reaching the speed, the measurement starts. Angles stably press stop measurement, stop rotation. To fix all the results, click the result. Next, we save the rotor under some name. The name will be displayed in the report. Click save and get the initial imbalance of the gimbal in grams. Further, when we have received the measurement results, we will make corrections. In this case, we bring the angle on the first plane to the angle 129 and hang 10 grams available on it. Vertically from above we install our 10 gram weight and fix it. On the second plane, we hang a weight of 28 whole 6 tenths of a gram, again choosing the right angle. Next, we bring the third plane under the correction zone. We take a pre-prepared weight. The weight of the control fourth plane must be removed. Next, we turn the fourth plane under the correction zone and set the weight. After all the loads have been installed, we press the start of rotation. The machine is in automatic mode, so now it will start measuring, record the measurement results and stop the rotation.
As you can see, all the planes fell into the tolerance. After this has happened, click the report, create, select the first start, initial and last start, final and click the create button. The report has been created, the speed at which balancing took place is displayed, the name of the rotor is displayed, all four correction planes are displayed, balancing tolerances, initial and final imbalances, operator name and date are displayed. Then we can either save the report or print it. In some cases, for proper balancing, it is necessary to take into account the eccentricity of the tooling, for example, when balancing shafts with end slots. The machine has a special function in the menu to compensate for the eccentricity of the tooling. When replacing the gimbal, it will be necessary to repeat the accounting of the extra sightness of the tooling. To diagnose the quality of the drive shaft, you can use the harmonic analysis function. It is clearly visible here that the first harmonic dominates on all supports. Such a shaft is likely to be easily balanced. However, if you see that some other harmonic, for example, the second, third, fourth, fifth, most likely the shaft has mechanical problems that need to be solved. If this is the second or fourth harmonic support, it is most likely a cross piece. The third, fifth is an outboard bearing, or a spline. So, the installation of the gimbal is carried out by releasing the pinoli, releasing the cams and pushing the pinoli. It is set back in the reverse order. and fixed Pi Zero. The kit also includes a slot adapter, a Euro slot for trucks, a Mercedes ring and a six-phase slot adapter. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the machine constructively provides three ways of fixing the outboard bearing, with the help of the upper prism, with the help of standard mounting bolts and two prisms for the protruding diameter of the outer ring of the bearing. The third method is the most accurate, since its use does not involve rubber. 